So for making parametric constraints, we want to make our 2D sketch on this plane. And all of our references to dimensions are going to be used from the sheet that you already filled out here. Okay, so for D0, we're just going to leave that at 3 inches. So I have right click, make a two point rectangle. Set this to be 3. But then for D1, we want to make that D0 times 5 thirds. So we can either just click on D0. Or we could have typed it in ourselves. Let's extrude this out. The extrusion here is supposed to be D1 divided by 20. So I type in D1 over 20, hit enter. And I'll keep it at the right thickness right click, let's make a new sketch, make a circle, make another circle. I'm going to set these circles to be equal to each other. I'm also going to make a horizontal constraint. And I'm going to go to line, connect the tops of the circles, connect the bottoms of the circles, trim out the parts we don't need, and then dimension the width of these, D4, to be D0 divided by 2. D5 is a slot width location, and it shows us on here that D5 is going from this edge to the far circle. There's D5, and the value for D5 needs to be uh, D1 times 4 fifths. So it's D1 times 4 divided by 5. And we'll put that in parentheses just to make sure we get this all right. Okay, if we look down at how far down this is, D6. is D0 divided by 3. And the last one for the slot diameter, we want it to be uh, D2. So this distance is equal to D2. Let's just check that once more. D7 is what I'm looking at. D7 does say D2. Might try that one more time. I think it meant the radius because this doesn't look right. That looks more appropriate. Let's go ahead and finish and extrude our sketch. This is still going to be either D1 over 20 or we can put it as, for the extruded length, D2. And make sure that we are cutting material. Let's make a new sketch. We're putting a circle somewhere on here. For the circle, we're putting our first dimension is how far over it is. So from here to here, D10 is D1 times 0.25. It's then going to ask us how far down from the top of this for D11. 
and that equation is d0 divided by 2 thirds or times 2 thirds and the last one is on the diameter of that circle d12 whole diameter is 2 times d7 Uh, so we'll just say d7 times 2. And here's where we've come into our first problem is because our d7 was not uh, a valid point. Let's try d8. Okay. And I'll show you what happened. If we go to uh, tools, maybe it's manage. If we go to manage, we have our parameters, and there actually was not a D7. I made a dimension and then I erased it, but it still logged itself as having been there at one time, so it incremented that. Yep, it skips from D6 to D8. And these are all the parameters we have in the part so far. So that's why everything's off by one right now. Okay. And then we just need to extrude out this circle. And it's still going to be D2. Could have put in D8, would have been the same thing. And the taper angle, we're just going to leave at 0. OK, so now, next part of your worksheet is asking you to find the volume and the surface area. To do that, we just right click on part 1 go down to I properties and under physical we have to give it some material type it doesn't really matter because the volume and surface area are not dependent on material so here's your volume and here's your surface area it then asks that you go back and change the overall plate depth to one and a half inches change D0 to one and a half so we can either do that from our sketch on extrusion one change this to 1.5 and if you finish it it should scale down proportionally we could also do the same thing from manage and change it in parameters here's D0 it's now set to one and a half we can just click in here and change this to whatever we want but check again with your physical properties And now our area and volume are much smaller. Write down these new numbers as well. Okay, that's it.